I have received over 7,000 records of foods tested by CFIA, Canadian Food Inspection Agency, uh, for, for uh, glyphosate and its uh, metabolite AMPA. I'm trying to get it transcribed because it was printed, uh, given to me in printed form in very, very small letter, which is proving to be difficult for optical character recognition. So I'm manually transcribing it one record at a time uh, and uh, waiting for a better, uh, better document to be received from CFIA. So meanwhile, I have the first hundred records transcribed, which you can find on my blog. Uh, and I have changed the heading based on the first hundred only out of the 7,000 plus. That Canadian food seems to show the highest concentration of glyphosate or contamination of glyphosate uh, out of all the countries, although we have mostly high uh, numbers from USA and Canada, and also some unknown uh, samples that are whose origin is, is unknown. Uh, but out of these three main groups, and then small sprinkling of uh, samples from many other countries, Canada seems to be particularly doing badly, and uh, that concerns me, and that's why I changed the, the heading. And then, if you go down the blog, there is this summary uh, uh, image, uh, like a table. If you click on it, you'll go to the actual data. So let's do that. Click it, and you go to the actual data, where the summary, the same table is there, uh, with some text uh, for two pages. And then there are seven pages of the actual data transcribed, 100 samples. Uh, in that table, uh, let me explain to you. Uh, this leftmost column, 1, 2, 3, 4, was not there in the original data. I, I entered it just to keep a track uh, the serial number. And then the sample type, this uh, column was on the rightmost. I pulled it to the leftmost to, to be able to see what kind of sample uh, it is. And then there were lots of additional columns that I hid or uh, removed. Uh, for instance, many columns for dates, you know the date the sample was taken from the ground, the date it was received by the government, the date it was given to the lab, and the, date it, the result was it received, the date it was analyzed, blah, blah, blah. So it was becoming too, uh, too wide and difficult to fit in. So I had to remove those, uh, those uh, many, most of the columns, keeping only one of the dates there, and some inscrutable code number, uh, the serial numbers, and record numbers and all that which didn't have much space i removed it i'm thinking of removing this column as well because i don't know most of the records here say imfd i don't know what it means only few says processed or fresh which is why i kept it for the time being anyway so now the 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 ones with green highlight are the recognized organic sample where the description has the word organic somewhere you know so that's the green, and then the red highlighted one are deep uh, brown orange highlighted ones are the the samples where there was either measurable amount of glyphosate like this one, or there was a positive uh, outcome of the glyphosate screening without the actual concentration being measured or being measurable. At least it was trace and it was uh, found to have be positive with glyphosate. So those are the ones in red highlight and the organic ones and in green highlight and you will see that some of the organics have glyphosate in it uh, if you go through like organic hull millet it has this, this much of glyphosate. This reading by the way it is, is mu g per g or microgram per, per gram which means parts per million. And the summary report that I made on top, I multiplied it thousand times to get parts per billion, which is more uh, uh, e easy to uh, grasp in you know, the, the, the figures. So that is the seven pages of data. And as more and more is transcribed, um, you will have more and more. So you keep coming back to the blog and click on this uh, image to take you to the most current uh, PDF document and you can download it. Now about the summary, I have something to say here. Uh, it was 
created uh, with a spreadsheet uh, with the same place where the data was being uh, entered and all the samples from Canada added up on the on this line and you can see 24 samples from Canada out of which nine samples contained glyphosate and AMPA uh, that's AMPA is the first metabolite of glyphosate and equally nasty uh, and then there are six more that had trace amount of glyphosate, no amount was uh, mentioned, but in a glyphosate screening, it shows positive, like you are, you know, HIV positive or something like that. So those are the six, together that make 15, and the percentage for 15 out of 24 is 63%, and the percentage of nine out of 24 is 38%. So 38% of them had measurable amount of glyphosate, 63% of them had some amount of glyphosate, even if some of them were not measured. And finally, if you take all the glyphosate con content of Canadian samples, add them up and divide it, divide it by the total, uh, total samples, you get the average uh, and you multiply the parts per million thousand, thousand times and then you get the parts per billion. And this is that figure, figure. That means on average, every Canadian sample has 60.57 parts per billion of either glyphosate or AMPA. Mostly glyphosate, very few had AMPA. United States also had 24 samples, same amount. And it has more samples with glyphosate and AMPA, very little trace amount. And uh, so altogether there are 13 out of 24 and 50% of the Canadian uh, American samples have measurable amount of glyphosate as against 38% from Canada uh, and altogether 54% of samples have some amount of glyphosate. But if you again add up all the American uh, glyphosate concentration and divide it by 24, you get 36.02 parts per billion which is much less than the average Canadian concentration. And since most of the other countries had only one or two samples, it's not very representative, but you can see more or less they are all showing nearly zero, which means that foods imported from other countries are showing negligible amount uh, of uh, glyphosate. Some of them have the trace amount, like Chile, this one, has a, one sample which had uh, trace amount, but no measurable amount. And uh, out, out of Greece, uh, no, out of uh, South Africa, one of them had trace amount and uh, other one did not have. So generally the rest of the world is doing much better, although the sample levels are very small. North America is the worst affected and out of the two, Canada seems to be doing much worse than USA, although the technology is, was invented in USA and, and, and promoted elsewhere, Canada seems to have over overdone USA in adopt, adapting it and, and basically contaminating its entire uh, food crop uh, with glyphosate. There is also a large amount of food without the origin known, written in their record as uh, unknown, and I have written it as same, unknown. Uh, you see, Canada and USA had 24 samples each, but unknown has 37, much more. And their percentages is uh, like this. 30 and 65 uh, for measurable and altogether uh, traceable glyphosate and their average concentration is 22.59 which is better than either identified USA or Canadian samples. Then comes the three categories that I have so far separated and, and also uh, analyzed by creating special formulas in the spreadsheet. They call it function. Uh, so that the uh, organic samples, uh, out of all these, 24 are organic, out of which 9 are having glyphosate and AMPA, 2 are having trace, altogether 11. That makes it 38% uh, of the organic samples has measurable amount of glyphosate. 46%, almost half of them have some amount of glyphosate. So organic doesn't mean you are free of, free of glyphosate. However, the average glyphosate concentration of organic food is only 6.37 parts per billion, as against the same figure for non-organic is 39 
0.49 parts per billion. So if you are taking organic food, you are much better off or you, you are likely to get much less glyphosate than if you take a non-organic. The last one I, I, I uh, tried to analyze was gluten-free. There are quite a lot of gluten-free uh, food mentioned there. And as you can see, out of the nine samples, five of them had measurable amount of glyphosate. So 56% of gluten-free food had glyphosate. And its average uh, per, per sample was 28.16, which is barely little less than the total average, which is 31.54 out of all the 100 samples of all countries and everything. So if you are concerned about uh, glyphosate, then gluten-free will not save you. But, but organic food, whether gluten-free or not, uh, is going to be better when it comes to avoiding uh, glyphosate. I am particularly concerned about this figure for Canada. Uh, this is this seems to me to be too high, and that uh, I have cross-checked the the formulas and the functions. It doesn't seem to be any any mistake there. So I will try to later on break this down into more subdivisions here, and not just gluten-free or non-organic, but which parts of Canada seems to show what kind of trend. Uh, that might be also worthwhile doing it for the U.S. samples uh, down the line uh, once we have much more than 100 samples uh, transcribed. Uh, it would be good to know which areas of, of this continent has the worst food so that uh, and one, what kind of food are worse than the others uh, so that concerned people can at least begin to make a, 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 an educated and informed uh, choice on what to buy and what to eat. Uh, clearly, for North America, it is, it is you know, 63% and 54% for Canada and USA. You are not going to be able to avoid glyphosate if you only buy ordinary food uh, from store. Uh, buying organic does make a very big difference, uh, apparently. Uh, it, it looks so far uh, from the first 100 samples. Uh, but those who want to be absolutely sure, I think they are, they need to grow their own food up to a point uh, and they know that there is no glyphosate because they have not put any and their neighbors are not uh, spraying anything so so they are likely to be as much free of glyphosate as it's possible practically provided their tap water is uh, free of it uh, of course or, or whichever water they use for uh, for gardening so this is the general uh, brief summary and the seven pages of uh, of uh, the actual transcribed records. I will update more time to time, but for now, this is it, and uh, take care. Bye.